It was a little bit of a chilly ride in this morning, but we made it work. You wear the right gear and you're just fine. The only thing that was cold was my fingers, and I was wearing gloves, but uh, they obviously weren't windproof enough. We will adjust our strategy next time, but I'm fine. I'm fine. The rest of me was sweating. I'm so warm. I wore this like windbreaker jacket and uh, balaclava. It felt good. It felt good. It's time to get to work now. There's freight to deliver. This is what we're working with today. Got to deliver this uh, just down the road, really. Into uh, Ilda Shane. I picked these up on Friday. So I'm gonna just finish loading up into the truck here. I'm gonna get her going through the pre-trip, park the bike. We'll be on our way. Monday, yay. So remember I told you this thing is in miles an hour. So the odometer and tripometer is in miles an hour. It's almost, almost exactly 31 miles to work for me. It's about a half hour. It's definitely gonna take some getting used to. I'm used to doing everything in kilometers an hour. But I have driven in the US a lot too, so that helps. It doesn't take much for me to do the conversion. It's just when I look down quickly at the speedometer, I gotta remember, I'm not doing 65 kilometers an hour. No, I'm doing 65 miles an hour. <laughs> Turn the air conditioning off this morning. It was four degrees Celsius this morning when I took off. That's uh, just above freezing here. Let me figure it out for you American friends of mine. You and your funny systems of measurement. Uh, four C to F. 39.2 degrees Fahrenheit this morning. Woo! Like I said though, I was really warm. I had, uh, I have a t-shirt under this, sweater, then my vest, and then I had this windbreaker on top of that yet. And then I had that, uh, the face shield that wraps around my ears, the glasses that seal around my eyes, helmet obviously, and lined jeans. And the only thing that was cold were my fingers. They're already warmed up. So I'll have to remember that next time I ride in on a cold morning, I, I need to wear different gloves, uh, windproof gloves or winter gloves or something just for the morning if I want to keep my hands warm. But that was the only thing. That was fine. So now we know. Oh, here it is for my, my duster. One must never start the week off with a dusty truck. All of last week's dust off of here because I was so excited about the motorcycle last Friday that I didn't clean anything before I left. Just parked it, did my post trip, did everything I had to do like that, and <laughs> it took off. So I gotta do a little bit of cleaning here first. And then we're gonna go and uh, deliver these, whatever these things are. All right, we got some kind of slabs in here. Let's check this out. Look at this. Got another stack back there. Yeah, let's get through here. So there's what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's 20 slabs of what is this, granite? something fancy that's nice so 20 and there's looks like there's more on the back here probably because we got the triaxle underneath here it's, it's pretty heavy stuff five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen one two three four five six seven eight nine ten fifteen sixteen so there's 30 back here and 20 up there and these have got to be delivered into Winnipeg. Eek, and I still need to wash the inside of this trailer. Thanks. Okay. Pitter patter, let's get at her. Oh, nice. You see this dunnage here? They screwed it onto my trailer deck with screws. 
very effective for holding it in place. And very effective for uh, <laughs> creating a lot of extra work for me. I don't got a screwdriver with me. Uh, the shop, or not the shop, the shop and the, the yard guys, they have one. If I need to uh, unscrew those and get that dining job over there, that's no problem. Just an extra step in my journey. It's okay. It's okay. No big deal. A lot of times they just use nails, right? And then I can get them out with a crowbar. Screws aren't as easy to pull out with a crowbar. But they work better. So, you know, with this stuff, this stuff is very fragile, I'm guessing. We don't want that to fall over and crack. So we want that to stay in place. It would make sense that they use screws and not nails. All right, try axle. Tri axles, there's try. Try to make sure the tri axle tires are all filled with air. Huh? Huh? No? Okay. Oh, 605. I always forget. You're the one with the crossed crossed wires. I remember you. Everything's all nicely done up back here. Okay. Oh, not, not a lot of room here. Whoa. We can make it work. Think skinny. Think skinny. Hey. Are you filled with air? Are you filled with air? How about you guys? Yes. All filled with air. High quality H2. Not H2O. <laughs> High quality O2. Not water. I, I, I very highly doubt there's water in those tires. <laughs> it in the mirror there but they have the or we have the trailer opened from the front they already unloaded that back pile now they're doing the front and they're taking them in there one at a time or maybe two at a time it's hard to tell they got like a big boom that comes out and grabs them picks them up and then they guide them in there there's the big boom and he goes and grabs it Grabs two at a time, like I said. They have the one guy that guides it. take it in there. Neat, eh? Seems like it's starting to rain a little bit though. Yeah. Looks like the other driver's done too. He's gonna come and uh, replace this car with his truck. That's Roy over there. He's uh, I think he's a van city driver. He does mostly vans. I'm not too sure what I am. I thought I was hired as a van driver, and then I became the roll tight driver. And now I'm just, I think, whatever they need me for a driver, which is pretty much right where I guess I should be. I like to be as useful as possible. That way, uh, you know, whatever they need me to do, I can do for them. 
Like for instance, tomorrow morning we're picking up a wide load. I'm gonna pick. I don't know where it's going yet, but it doesn't really matter because wherever it's going, I'll tie her down and I'll get it there. Because I can, I can pull anything, haul anything they want me to, except for the low bed trailer. Uh, I, I need some training on that yet. And this blue truck here has that uh, crane arm for unloading poles and stuff. Need some training on that yet, but you know. Eventually, we'll get there and then I'll be able to do everything. Just trying to load up all my stuff. <laughs> Two full saddlebags already. Uh, and this is all full of my like, stuff I need right away. And then I got my backpack yet. <laughs> I have a lot of stuff. But I need it all. All of it. I'm not a hoarder, I'm not a pack rat. I need it, I need it. Facts. Home, sweet home. What do we got out here? Oh, Deja, where'd you get that big stick from? Wow! Chevy, did you get that stick? Oh, you got your own stick. There's a whole bunch of sticks out here. What's going on, man? Wiener. It was you, wasn't it? You jumped up and broke it off the tree? Totally believe it, man. Totally. He's a super vina. What's going on, Commander? You're prouncing around like you just took a, took a big old one. Probably gonna have to go and clean that up right away. So yeah, just got home. It was a good ride. I took uh, the long way home. Uh, from Steinbeck to where I work, I usually take uh, the two lanes. But today I felt like going a long way up to Trans-Canada, so I went around on Highway 1. I stopped by Harley-Davidson and picked up uh, a pad for my kickstand. So that when I park it at work on the gravel, that it's got a nice pad for the kickstand to lay on. that it's, uh, So that it doesn't uh, sink into the gravel and tip the bike over. That wouldn't be good. So, yeah, it's good to be home. I believe Brick will be off work shortly. We're gonna enjoy our evening together and do it all over again tomorrow. It's gonna be a much nicer morning to ride in tomorrow. At least last I heard. So thanks for watching today. Don't forget to hit that like button before you leave. Helps me out a lot. We'll see you tomorrow.